He's here now with something new, WWW, the yes. Wednesday weather words. Yes. What is it? <laughs> so I thought over the coming weeks I'd share some of my favourite weather words with Go you. Go on. I've got a good one for you tonight. Technically it's two words, but it's crepuscular rays. Crepuscular rays, what yes. are they? So they're shafts of light that illuminate atmospheric haze, or in other words, they're sunbeams. Oh. But they do make for some lovely photos. So I thought we'd have a look at some. I've got uh, a few here to show you. This one from Heather Buckley, Southampton Beautiful. Common. Beautiful. Nice. And you can see the rays of light. They're illuminating little bits and pieces in the atmosphere. So that's why you can see that sunlight. We've got uh, this one from Robin Boltwood. And now the rays of light are actually parallel. They look like they spread apart, uh, but it's just a trick of perspective. And they come from the word, uh, the Latin word crepusculum, which means of the dawn or of the dusk, as you often see them around twilight. More crepuscular rays to come in the next uh, few hours? They're very tricky. Not the next few hours. I thought you were going to say next few days. Tricky All right, forecast. next few days. Uh, maybe it's definitely <laughs> A baby. Well, let's find out. Here's your forecast. Jolly Holly Green. We had some lovely bright weather around for today, some beautiful blue skies overhead, glorious autumn conditions, very well captured here by David Sawford. Now, I know not all of us had those blue skies, though, and we had a bit more cloud out for some eastern fringes thanks to a weather front. Now, it is continuing to push its way east, a brief ridge of high pressure building in for a time tonight, but then another weather front heads our way later on tonight and into the first part of tomorrow. So it thickens our cloud, it brings us some patchy outbreaks of rain, but it does at least clear through as the day goes on. Through this evening then, some starry skies overhead. And as a result, our temperatures take a bit of an early tumble. So a chilly start to this evening. As the night goes on, though, a bit more cloud works its way in. It's thick enough to bring a little bit of rain and drizzle at times. And also, it will see our temperatures recovering. So it will be a frost-free start as we head into tomorrow. But also not the most inspiring start to things. So a bit murky, a bit cloudy, a bit damp as well. I think as the day goes on, though, it should tend to improve. The rain clears through, the cloud breaks up a bit, so some spells of sunshine eventually emerging. And our temperature's just getting that little bit higher than today. So we're looking at highs getting up to around 12 degrees or so. So relatively pleasant for the time of year as we head into tomorrow afternoon. These are our times of high water. Brighton at 6 minutes past 2 in the morning and 2.27 in the afternoon. And this is how it's looking over the coming days. So into Friday, I think quite cloudy, patch outbreaks of rain by day. And we could well see something a bit more persistent, actually, as we head into Friday night. And that could be with us first thing on Saturday. The good news is, though, it nips through and we see a chillier picture into the weekend. We've got quite a chilly northwesterly breeze, which you will notice, but it should be fairly bright. So the risk of some showers, hopefully not too many, hopefully a decent amount of dry weather. And despite that cold feel to things, hopefully we should see some good spells of sunshine. Have a good evening. And in just a moment, the ITV Evening News Hour continues with Mary Nightingale. Peter Scott, our late news for now, though, from the team here at ITV Meridian. Thanks for watching. Look out for those crop crop waves. Oh, well done. Whatever you do. See you later. Good night. Bye bye.